Can you run EEFC 25 on your PC? Well, you clicked on the right video, so let's jump straight into it. What you want to do is head to your browser, Chrome, Brave, Opera GX, whatever you use. What you want to do is type in, can you run this? I've already searched for it because I've done this before. And what you want to do is click the first website here. As you can see, it says, the question of can I run a PC game has been answered here hundreds of millions of times since 2005. Find out now if your computer could run any popular PC game. The popular PC game in question is EAFC 25. Could do this with any game. I'm going to type in Grand Theft Auto, for example. Look, as you can see, Grand Theft Auto 6 is already prepared. Let's say Cyberpunk 2077. It's also over here. As you can see, the top games are, as you can see, right here. But the video's focus is EAFC 25. So what you want to do is type in EA space sports fc25 and as you can see it's right there and what you want to do is click can you run this simply press that once you click that button this will come up this page will come up and it will explain here are eafc 25's system requirements minimum it has the amd ryzen 5 1600 or an intel core i5 6600k which isn't too bad but once again it's quite hefty because this game is a CPU based game, just a heads up. This isn't a GPU based game. This isn't hardcore towards your graphics card. Your graphics card is your video card, just to let you know. You need eight gig RAM. Your video card, like I said, isn't really a priority. As you can see, it's a 1050 Ti, which is like 708 years ago now uh, or an amd radio on 5x 570 a dedicated video ram which is four pixel or whatever P vertex we don't really need to know that os is operating system so windows 10 or later free disk space of 100 gig because obviously there'll be further updates throughout the year and then the sound card whatever but for the recommended requirements as you can see here is a cpu amd ryzen 7 2700x or an intel core i7 with a 6700 video card once again as you can see it's not actually much bigger than the 1050 ti it's literally a 1660 or a amd radeon rx 5600 uh, once again the same things apply with the uh, disk space and then the video gig which is 6 gig vram for your graphics card the dedicated vram is vram for your graphics card so that's four gig and this is six gig if you're already aware about your pc specifications and how pc and laptops work and you know that your computer is fine for this then by all means get it for those people that comment literally can i run a, a 730 gti can i run a 4070 can i run an i7 can i run an i9 all these comments are on screen quite literally this is this video is for you so what you want to do is click can you run this and then it will direct you to this it will say gathering data start start gathering it, this will come up and then it will say please run the detection app finish analyzing computer right here as you can see i've moved my camera but you can see here it says detection 1ju.exe this isn't a flipping hacking software this isn't a flipping virus do not worry if it does get flagged as a virus please get rid of your malware detection and then put it back on see as you can see once you click that software that i just clicked it, this will come up and as you can see it says hardware detection then now it says all done and then now you can see back we go it will redirect you once you've done the page and it just will say whatever it comes if it comes with an x or an x here that means you cannot play it whatsoever if your minimum is fine then just to let you know your gameplay might not be as smooth compared to a person higher spec computer to you but you can still run the game for those who are asking about my specs in the comments this is literally all my specs we have an rtx 3060 ti which is fine which is 6 gig reram i have 8 uh, cpu i have a 12th gen uh, i7 12th gen as you can see uh, and yeah os i've got windows 11 i got 128 gig left that's one of my hard drives i've got another ssd and then it says minimum soundboard you have the microsoft streaming service proxy which it's it's fine so like i mentioned earlier for those who have x's or question marks with like orange like an orange kind of uh symbol just be careful you might need to upgrade your drivers you might need to upgrade your specs itself you, you might need to get a whole different machine 
because it can be quite intense towards your uh, processor. You could probably pick up a cheaper computer because I don't know if you heard the news, the PS5 Pro is 800 quid. No one's gonna be buying an 800 pound PlayStation Pro. You could literally afford three computers for that price. So yeah, if you guys still need help, on this topic of specs and PC stuff. Comment down below. I'm happy to help. We're all happy to help in the comment. But yeah, this is, as you can see, regardless of what game you try and want to try and test if your computer can work, this literal website is for you. So yeah, it's been a Borgia. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and peace.